Hello, dear students. Today we are going to learn a new poem called The Ghost, which is written by Keki N. Daruwala. He was born in 1937 in Lahore and uh, he is best known for a lot of work. The Scarecrow and the Ghost is one of his best selling book. The Ghost is part of this book. In this poem, uh, the poet is trying to draw a similarity and difference between a ghost and a human being in the first paragraph and in the later paragraphs he is telling us a few ghost stories that he has experienced or he has heard from others let's see what is there in the poem okay so here's the poem Let's read from the first paragraph. The poet says, The good thing about good people is that they are transparent. The bad thing about ghosts is that they are transparent. So here he is trying to use the word transparent to draw similarity between human beings and ghosts. That both of them can be transparent. And... Uh, his word, he's used good and bad words to draw a difference between how being transparent can be good or bad for each. So he's saying that it's good if human being is transparent. Right? Why does he say so? He doesn't literally mean that a human being can be transparent. By transparent, he means to say that a person is transparent if he's honest or if he has good qualities in him. Right, so he's actually punning on the word transparent here. A transparent person is not deceptive, he doesn't cheat anyone, and he's always um, uh, honest. However, a ghost, if he is transparent, if a ghost is transparent, that's a bad thing. Why? Because if the ghost is transparent, then we won't know if he's around. Right? If a ghost is all around us or near us, we won't know. So that's a very dangerous thing, right? So it's actually a funny way how he has tried to draw the difference between a man and a ghost. Okay. In fact, the way you see through them, you don't see them at all. So he's talking about the ghost here. That even if you try to see through a ghost, we cannot do that because ghosts don't have any physical body. And when you can see a ghost... It isn't quite a ball. Even if you see a ghost, nobody would like to see that side because most of the time it's either going to be scary or it's going to be a lot upsetting. In fact, you're up against a transparent vapor wall. So if you try to know uh, the inside of a ghost, you are only, it's equivalent to you fighting against a vapor wall, which literally doesn't exist. A few things it were best. A few things it were best to know about ghosts. They are bad hosts, for they are never in station and worst guests. So first of all, the the poet is trying to tell us how ghosts can be bad hosts. Now, who's a bad host? Jab aap kisi ko bulate hain apne ghar, to aap host ban jate ho. Or jab aap kisi ke ghar jate ho, to aap guest ban jate ho. Right? Now here, the poet is saying that the ghosts are bad hosts. Why? Kyunki wo kabhi ek jage pe rehte nahi hai. They never station, in, they never, they are never in station and worse guests. So they are bad hosts because they are never in station. And they are worse guests because they barge in invitation or no invitation. Chahe bulao na bulao, ghost ko jaha hona jata hai, they forcefully go in so that's a very dangerous thing ghosts are not bad omens they don't bring doom they don't come in through chimneys they don't ride a broom so here ghosts are not bad omens omen means in hindi we say omen means uh apshakun right so he the writer is the poet is saying that ghosts are not bad omens and it's not possible that they can bring anything doom means हमारे ऊपर कुछ प्रॉब्लम ओके डूम का मतलब होता है जब सब कुछ खत्म हो जाता है सो व्हेन यू आर डूम्ड यू आर फिनिश्ड राइट सो द पोइट इज सेइंग कि जो गोस होते हैं वो हमारे लिए बुरे नहीं होते हैं 
दे डोंट कम इन थ्रू चिमनीज ना ही वो चिमनी से आते हैं एंड ना ही वो ब्रूम पे राइड करके आते हैं यूजली दी सी विच इज राइडिंग ऑन अ ब्रूम बट द पोएट हियर इज सेंग की जो गोस्ट होते हैं दे डोंट राइड ऑन अ ब्रूम एंड ना इधर डू दे कम थ्रू चिमनीज बट गोस्ट स्टोरीज कैन बी ट्रू आई कुड टेल यू अ फ्यू so here now the poet is saying that he knows about a few ghost stories and he is eager to tell us old hotels where stairs creak and where door hinges squeak are full of stories that eerily speak of ghosts and chirels so he is well aware and he has heard from others he has experience in knowing this that old hotels or oh, with uh, creaky stairs and squeaky hinges Usually speak of stories which are of uh, either churel वाले uh, stories होंगे या ghost वाले stories होंगे Eerily speak means कैरी बहुत ही डरावने right? I've heard so uh, इस poem में वो बोल रहे हैं कि जो hotels के आवाज करते हुए स्टेज हैं जिन पे चलते ही आवाजें होने लगती है वो यूजुअली वुड के बने हुए होते हैं तो टाइम के साथ जब वो पुराने होने लगते हैं तो वो आवाज करने लगते हैं जैसे दरवाजों पे भी होते हैं डोर हिंजेस को हम खोलते हैं तो कभी कभी आवाजें आती है और गोस्ट यहाँ पे ये बोल रहे हैं कि जो गोस्ट स्टोरीज है वो इन दीवारों में और इन स्टेज से बहुत सारे हमें गोस्ट और चुरेल्स की स्टोरीज जो होते हैं वो सुनाई पड़ते हैं इन्ही से रिलेटेड All right. I've heard it tell a lady ghost bathing in a Missouri hotel. Every night you heard water running and the clink of bangles on her unseen hand. Now the poet is talking about a hotel in Missouri, जहाँ पे एक बहुत famous tale है तो वो सबको बोल रहे हैं कि Missouri का एक Missouri में एक hotel है Missouri hotel करके और वहाँ पे वो hotel इसीलिए famous है क्योंकि वहाँ पे हर रात एक औरत जो है उसके आ, उसकी उसके चूड़ियों की आवाज आती है और किस जो पानी है उसके बहने की आवाज आती है बट गोइंग टू द बाथरूम यू वुड सी द फ्लोर क्वाइट ड्राई एंड साइलेंस ट्रैप्ड ऑन द टॉवल स्टैंड साइलेंस ड्रेप्ड ऑन द टॉवल स्टैंड वंस अ फॉरेस्ट गार्ड सॉ सो हियर गोज द फर्स्ट स्टोरी ओके यहाँ पे उन्होंने मसूरी वाला इंसिडेंट बोला है जहाँ पे एक लेडी इज सपोज टू बी रनिंग द वॉटर इन द वॉशरूम एंड देर इज ऑल्सो क्लिंकिंग ऑफ बैंगल्स बट वेन पीपल गो एंड सी इन द इन द वॉशरूम इट्स एवरीथिंग इज ड्राई ठीक है और सिर्फ साइलेंस होता है और टॉवल भी ड्राई होता है सब कुछ ड्राई होता है फिर पानी किसने चलाया नो बडी नोज सो दैट्स अ स्पूकी टेल ऑफ द मसूरी होटल नेक्स्ट ही आल्सो सेज अनदर टेल वेर इन लेट्स सी व्हाट इज रिटन इन द सेकंड वन ही सेज वंस अ फॉरेस्ट गार्ड सॉ वन फिफ्थ ऑफ हिज फेस द गोस्ट्स फेस ही ओनली सॉ आईब्रोज एंड गोटी अनदर सॉ नो लेग्स बट सेलिंग बाय He saw a dhoti. So, ghost story तो इतने सुनाई देते हैं राइट right? हमें तो हर कोई ghost stories अगर बोलते हैं तो वो spooky वाले stories जो है वो हर कोई बता सकता है तो एक forest guard भी है जिसने अपने जिसने uh, he also has told his share of uh, ghost story जहां पर उसने बोला था कि उसने ghost का चेहरा देखा था लेकिन पूरा नहीं सिर्फ वन fifth. Only one fifth of his face could he see. पूरा नहीं देखा था एंड uh, क्या देखा था उसने सिर्फ आईब्रोज देखा था और उसकी गोटी देखी थी दिस इज द गोटी ओके एंड अनादर सो और और एक आदमी ने तो उसको देखे कि उसके तो लेग्स ही नहीं है और वो वट सेलिंग बाय ही सॉ अ धोती लेकिन उसकी जो धोती थी उसके लेग्स नहीं थे लेकिन उसकी धोती उड़ रही थी हवा में एंड इन अलेज बर्ड्स वुड सडनली स्टॉप देर मॉर्निंग बिको एंड देर मॉर्निंग फिटो और एक गांव है जहां पे जो बर्ड्स है वो सडनली गाना बंद कर देते हैं जैसे ही आ, सवेरा होने लगता है राइट सो आर्ग्यू अबाउट पेटी एंड ट्रिव्यूल मैटर्स सो मॉर्निंग बिकर इज यूजली the chai chai of the uh, birds that they do and their morning twitter 
दे हैथ सेंस्ड अ गोस्ट वो इसलिए हो जाता है एवरीबडी इज साइलेंट ऑल द एनिमल्स दे पहले जमाने में दे यूज टू से दैट जैसे ही घोस्ट आता है वेन एवर दर इज अ गोस्ट द एनिमल बर्ड्स एंड एनिमल्स फॉर द फर्स्ट वन टू स्पॉट दैट दे कुड फील इट बिकॉज दे हैव स्ट्रॉगर सेंस दैन आस दे से दैट इज वाई दे कुड सेंस अ गोस्ट एंड एवरीबडी बिकम साइलेंट दे हैव सेंस द गोस्ट दे आर रैमेजिंग इन द लिटर बट लेट्स एंड दीज स्टोरीज फॉर गोस्ट गिव मी द जिटर्स फाइनली the poet reveals that the ghost stories gives him jitters means he it scares him makes him nervous that is why he wants to stop sp- speaking about these stories they had a so here they said they had a sense of ghost they ramaging in the litter this means they are talking about the ghost who is um, uh, jo gap dustbin mein kuch awaze karta hai ramaging yani ki kuch हिलने डुलने की आवाजें आती हैं और उसको इन सारे बातों को याद करके पोएट अभी खुद ही नर्वस हो रहा है वो बोल रहा है कि अभी हम और स्टोरीज नहीं बोलेंगे भूत के क्योंकि मैं ऑलरेडी नर्वस हो चुका हूँ राइट सो देर आर लेट्स सी इफ यू कैन आंसर दीज क्वेश्चन नाउ इनफैक्ट यू आर इफ यू गो टू दर्स्ट स्टैंडा हियर लेट्स सी द पोएट से um in fact the way you see through them uh i think yeah i think this one is better in fact you are up against a transparent wall um so here can you tell me in what context does the poet say so the answer will be the poet says that this in the context of the transparent form of the ghosts okay it's because the ghosts are transparent that is why he is saying so uh then the next one is what wall is he talking about so let's see uh what wall is he talking about here is a transparent paper wall he says so what wall is that he is actually talking about the ghost's body in fact you are up against a transparent paper wall means wo ghost ki hi baat kar raha hai jo actually wall ki tarah we can presume that it's the wall it's a wall but it's transparent a few things uh what does the poet imply by saying one is up against the ghost up against a ghost what does that mean up against implies that he is in some kind of fight or confrontation like he is confronting the ghost or he is fighting with a ghost uh so again let's move on to the masuri girl what does he say what is the story about the masuri girl uh he is talking about a ghost which is a lady ghost in a masuri hotel and um, people believe it was told that um, a woman used to run the water in the washroom and um, a clinking of her bangle sounds also used to scare others right and uh, then he also talks about the forest men another saw no legs but sailing by he saw a dhoti so here he is uh, talking about this man right so what do you think is this another saw no legs but sailing by he saw a dhoti what does that mean uh so the legs could not be seen because they were transparent right and this is who is speaking the previous guard saw a ghost with one fifth of his face the first the first guard saw a ghost with one fifth of his face present along with a uh, I, along with the eyebrows and a goatee and another second the second forest guard who came he saw that there were no legs of the ghost and uh, because they were transparent and his dhoti was flowing along what information about the ghost 
does the poet want the readers to know? He wants us to know that, that ghosts are bad hosts and worse guests. We've read this. Here you will find the answer here. And then he says, why according to the poet, uh, are they bad hosts because they don't um, stay? They are not stationed. They do, they do not stay in their house. They're not, um, they are never in station. And uh, they are worse guests because they forcefully enter into anybody's house without or with invitation, with or without invitation. Well, these are some of the questions you can also try. Uh, learning the meanings of some difficult words like uh, I think uh, they're already here you can just try there are, there is hinges and uh, other things mm, bargain omens I've told you the meanings and they're also in the book so you can go ahead and learn these meanings these are very good words that you can also use in your English language while speaking if there is any other questions any doubts you can Either type it in the comment box or you can ask it in ask it to me in the class. Alright. Take care. Bye bye.